Hey guys, welcome to another day of Vlogmas. So yeah, I just spent my morning, I just had breakfast and played a bit of Animal Crossing, which you should have seen. And I'm exhausted from yesterday. So today I'm going to do some Christmassy DIY stuff that I've got, um, which I'm really excited about doing. Um, but I don't know how good I'm gonna be. <laughs> if it's gonna be at all successful so we'll see i'm kind of in a non-outfit outfit so i'm wearing this jumper it says bitch i am the gift um from new girl order that i got from asos it was in my last asos haul um and then i'm wearing like christmas pajama leggings because i really want to have a nice hot bubble bath my body needs it but ben worked last night so he's still asleep and I know if I go up there and start running a bath, and up, it'll disturb him. So I just kind of got out of in pajamas and into new pajamas, <laughs> um, and I'll get properly dressed later. Um, but yeah, let's tr get, let's just try our hand at this DIY thing. Okay, so I've got you set up on a load of cushions. So we'll see if my cats don't try and destroy this setup. Here she comes right now. Speak of the devil. Rude. You pretty lady. She just wants to snuggle. She's mad at me for being out here. I think I'm going to try these first. Now, these were actually my faves originally. But I'm thinking if it goes horribly wrong, then these are the ones I already have decorations that are very similar to. So yeah, uh, so basically I got these from Hobbycraft and I just thought they were adorable and I got um, three different ones. I got these ones, how cute are they? And they're the ones I think I'm gonna try first and then um, I got these, these were Ben's favorite, the little polar bears with little booties on. And then I got some penguins, but the penguin one, I just read the box. What are you doing? I just read the box and it says I need a hot glue gun, which I do not have. So, yeah. It also says I need a sewing needle, but I can't see anywhere in the instructions where I'll need a sewing needle or what I'll need it for. So, I'm stumped. Right, let's get this out. Um, see what we're playing with. Of course, Cleo wants to attack the streak. Don't eat it! No. Thinks I eat what? I'm starving. He's not starving. Um, he's just not got his favourite food in his bowl right now. Oh, that looks a bit creepy. Looks like I've got the miniature animals like shoved in a vacuum pack bag. <laughs> um, okay, we've got this separately. I'm guessing these are my felting needles. So it says it comes with felting wool, a felt sheet, white thread, and two felting needles. And what are these two little things for then? And it says I will need a sewing needle, which I haven't got. A felting pad, which I haven't got. And scissors, which I have got. <laughs> but now I can't find them. Where are they? I've got scissors, okay. We're... It also, the instructions keep referencing to roving. And I do not know what that is. Why does this look so much harder? I honestly didn't read the instructions in the shop. I just got excited and thought they were cute and bought them. Lesson learnt. Roving is a long and narrow bundle of fibre. Rovings are produced during the process of making spun yarn from wool fleece, raw cotton or other fibres. Their main use is as a fibre prepared for spinning. But they also may be used for special kinds of textile arts. Okay. 
I think that's this stuff. We're all learning today. We're all learning together. Shut up. This is what they've given me inside. So that's really helpful. Ugh. That is like the dirtiest, rustiest needle I've ever seen in my life. Like fully marking my hand with black. That's gross. Is this little square meant to be big enough for all three animals? How? We're gonna do fox. That's what we're going for. He's at the top. That's what we're gonna go for. Ow! What's the difference between a sewing needle and a felting needle? I'm gonna have to look that up. Hey, we have an ear. This is fiddly. I didn't think this was gonna take much brain, brain power and here I am. And I feel exhausted already and all I've done is cut out a fox ear. I was literally thinking, I wonder how long it'll take me before I get bored and just start cutting shit out the way I want to do it. Get a bit bored of following the rules, you see. I've got two fox ears. They look nothing alike. How do I make him like 4D? It's a fox, apparently. His head is awful. He's literally got like a turkey neck. Step one is done. He's cut out. Gently stabbing all over with the felting needle to attach the roving. What? I looked up roving and I can't even remember what it is already. So did I YouTube a felting for beginners? Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> because I don't understand it. The next step says, take the fox body shape. Cover with the orange wool color, gently stabbing all over with the felting needle to attach the roving to the felt. No, darling. Yes, yes. You are non. You are not a fox, felt, roving, or any of the above. I don't understand, but that we're just going to go for it. Oh, it's in a nice little neat ball there. I was expecting that to be a mess. I don't like the feel of it at all. It feels like someone's old hair. <laughs> it's giving me the creeps. <laughs> Would I suit this hair colour? Not for you, Cleo. It's definitely not for you, darling. No. I, d I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> it's not good. But, like, now I can't see his shape. I'm a fairly artsy, crafty person, but you would not know that from watching this video so far. Why would I need that? I'm so confused. <laughs> Cleo, that is dangerous, please. Lads, don't do this at home. Leo, please use um, the proper felting pad. I'm sure it's much safer. I'm an idiot. That's why I'm doing it this way. My cat is obsessed with this stuff. Go away. It's just, it's just a stab in the dark. Boom, boom, shh. <laughs> enjoyable though if you've got anger issues someone's pissed you off recently stab some felt I haven't got hurt yet she says yet because she knows herself kind of getting some shape is he? Ah! <laughs> Stabbed myself number one. Ah! <laughs> Stab number two. Should I literally just call this video, come and watch me stab myself? No, that's, that's horrific. See, I'm a doing person. I, I learn from doing. So actually, every time I do arts and crafts, I think to myself, I should have just got on with it. I should have just started and my brain will have worked it out um, because this is not as complicated as I was making it in my head by overthinking it as much as I was. Have 
tiny gone and made a bloody fox shape. Look, head. Then his legs will come down here. This is a mound to attach his tail. When we started, did we think we'd even get here? No, is the answer. I didn't. <laughs> So I'm really proud of this. I can't wait. Now I'm doing his legs, which I've apparently got to do it all in black. And then attach them. Oh my God, we've got little legs. Little stumpy legs. I've got to wrap these in orange now. I'm actually so proud of this little guy. Look, he's got ears. Oh my God. It's nearly a fox. I made a fucking fox. Like that's a fox. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of that little guy. And now I'm ramsacking my house for super glue for his eyes because yeah, he's got to have eyes. He looks a bit creepy without eyes. So I'm looking everywhere <laughs> um, so that I can finish him off. But I'm well proud. Honestly, when we started, I thought there's no way it's not going to look like a fox. It's going to be terrible. But He's so cute, so now I'm so excited to do the others. And actually it was quite therapeutic to sit there and do. So, yeah, I'm well pleased. I've got some leftover orange wool, so I might make a baby fox. That'd be cute. It's harder the smaller you do it though. But yeah, I'm well proud of myself. Right, I'm right in the thick of it in this spare room. Surrounded by Christmas stuff, but I've hit the Christmas jackpot because this is the stuff I've been looking for. My lovely Santa face, my little elf doll and Santa. This is literally the stuff I've been looking for everywhere. I knew there was stuff missing, but the box is labeled kitchen. So I left it here, but I should have looked in cause it's not kitchen at all. Oh my God, there's full space. <laughs> oh, and now I need to eat. I'm gonna have lunch. And I think I'm gonna watch The Crown. A lovely sunny wintry foggy misty day that's like every weather I know but <laughs> it is it's lovely Decorating. I feel really good actually. I feel like I've got loads done and I wasn't meant to do much today as always because uh, I've got an important day wedding wise on Thursday that I was meant to be conserving my energy for but we're here. I'm glad I did it though in a way because I got a lot done and a little bit of a weight is lifted in, in that way because um, I think that we're basically decorated apart from our main tree and the kitchen decorations. Like I've done the hallways, I've done our bedrooms, I've done our living room, which is the most. Uh, kitchen is next and then the tree, uh, which we're going to get soon. So we're nearly there decorations wise. I have a lot of decorations. <laughs> And not a lot of health, so I'm having to like time things out. But I'm finally getting my bath. And yesterday I got myself the Twilight Bath Bomb from Lush. It's beautiful. Um, it smells amazing. It's a relaxing one, so that's what I wanted. 
So I'm finally going to have a really hot, lovely bubble bath. it was lovely and relaxing just what I needed but I'm gonna end this vlog here so thank you for watching if you did enjoy please do give it a like and do subscribe I'm doing vlogmas so I'm uploading every single day so yeah that means I will see you in tomorrow's video bye